Good day viewers and thanks for tuning in to Polym Update TV, the world's first and only TV network with the free petrochemicals news show. You are watching the petrochemical market synopsis with me, Shreyal Dhume. It is Monday, September 12th. Let's start with energy news. Crude oil prices gained steeply on Friday on the back of reduced number of people applying for unemployment benefits in the United States. The rise in prices was also prompted by a fall in the value of the US dollar. Brent crude prices rose by 3 US dollars 69 cents, settling at 92 US dollars 84 cents per barrel, while WTI futures increased by 3 US dollars 25 cents, settling at 86 US dollars 79 cents per barrel. On Friday, open spec NAFTA prices rose by 21 US dollars per metric ton at 644 US dollars per metric ton CFR Far East Asia levels. Feedstock news for Asia, Europe, and USA. In Asia last week, property prices climbed across the Asian region on a slight upward trend in demand sentiments in the Chinese domestic market ahead of the October month holiday. Meanwhile, supply avails were ample in China due to a lackluster purchase undertone for imported propylene. On Friday, FOB Japan propylene prices were assessed at 875 to 885 US dollars per metric ton level, a rise of 10 US dollars per metric ton from last week. FOB Korea propylene prices were assessed at 865 to 875 US dollars per metric ton levels, a week on week rise of 10 US dollars per metric ton. CFR China propylene prices were assessed at 885 to 895 US dollars per metric ton levels, a week on week increase of 15 US dollars per metric ton. CFR Taiwan propylene prices were assessed at 885 to 895 US dollars per metric ton levels, while CFR Southeast Asia propylene prices were also assessed at 885 to 895 US dollars per metric ton levels, both higher by 15 US dollars per metric ton from the previous week. In Asia last week, ethylene prices witnessed a rise in parts of the Asian region on the back of higher downstream SM values. Limited spot cargo availability and firm prices in the Chinese domestic market further pushed prices higher in the region. In Europe last week, ethylene prices were assessed higher on account of higher global demand trends and persistent product availability while propylene prices were quoted stable. In the United States last week, ethylene prices declined on the back of improved product availability and sluggish buying sentiments while propylene prices remained flat. In plant news, LG Chem is likely to restart its 130,000 metric ton per year propylene unit in Yosu, South Korea by December 2022. The unit was shut on September 7, 2022 on account of pipeline issues. That's all for today's Polymer News. Watch our daily news video tomorrow to know more. This is Polymer Update with me, Shreyal Dume from Mumbai. Many thanks for watching.